Today on the Inkdwell, we're going to be taking a look at the end results of peer pressure. This is a package from Amazon Prime, but not just any package from Amazon Prime. This is the highly touted, much reviewed Amazon Basics fountain pen. So as you can see, mine came in a very conscientious bubble wrap envelope and a rather nondescript but well done outer inner box. I mean, at least Amazon didn't do the typical thing that they do, where you end up with a box that's 50 or 60 times larger than what you actually order. Now, once I go ahead and get the tape off the end of the box here, we can take a look at what we've got for the inner packaging, which, from the looks of it, is a nondescript, muted, but maybe substantial black box. Getting the black box out of the brown box, and yeah, it's actually a pretty substantial, nondescript, black inner box. I like the look here for a $10 fountain pen. If I was new to this whole world and this was my opening presentation, then I would actually be kind of happy. I've seen worse done from platinum pens at this price range. The use and care guide is pretty straightforward, simple, multiple languages, but we're really here for the fountain pen. So right off the bat, we've got the pen and we've got two Amazon Basics black cartridges. These are short international so you should be able to get away with any short or from the looks of the barrel and how long it is a long international cartridge as well i didn't have any lying around so i wasn't able to test that the box only has two showing but there is a third that is inside the barrel of the pen like fig boot mine was kind of stuck in there so i did have to use the tip of a pencil to get that third one out once you dislodge it it does come out rather easy just keep that in mind if this is a purchase for you. You will probably have to dislodge that third cartridge. Now, looking at the aesthetics of the pen, we've got Amazon Basics stamped onto the clip. I think if they had just gone with like the Amazon smile or maybe just put Amazon, it would have probably been a little bit of a better design. And maybe I'm just nitpicking over the fact that it says Amazon Basics. Overall, it's not bad. I don't know how the black lacquer finish on this metal body is going to hold up over time, but I do like the black and silver. It's a good, nice, subtle combination. For the nib, it looks like they went with a number five. Now, there is one thing. Looking at this section, I can tell it's gonna be a little problematic for me because my hands do sweat a little and there's not really any concave shape to it. So it's gonna slide around a lot like a pilot vanishing point in this situation. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and take a look at the Amazon Basics fountain pen lined up against some other brands. On the left, we've got two Pelicans, a Sailor Pro Gear, the aforementioned Pilot Vanishing Point, the Brooks Charleston, two Atelier Lusos, a Newton, and a nondescript Sharpie. Capped, you can see it's about the same length as the Pelican M800, the Brooks Charleston, and the Pilot Vanishing Point. And uncapped, you can see that the section resembles more of the sections that you get from the custom pen makers, especially the Brooks and the Atelier Lusos, with it being a lot longer than the production models from Pelican, Sailor, and Pilot. So let's go ahead and ink up the Amazon Basics fountain pen and see what we get out of this fine nib. So you go ahead and pop the cap, because it is a pop cap, not screw cap. Unscrew the body of the pen and insert the short international cartridge that came with it. I have it on good authority from Figboot that you can use a converter, but I didn't have any free at the moment to actually test it, and I wanted to see what a first-time user would actually get with the included ink, which the ink does claim to be a water-based black ink, so we'll see how it performs. So jumping back in over my montage here, as you can see, I've had a couple issues with hard starting. So this morning when I woke up before starting the voiceover, I did write with it a little and I did have the same hard starting issue. Part of me though thinks that's the ink as this is starting to feel and behave more like an ink that you would see in a ballpoint or a gel pen more than the water-based ink that it says on Amazon's website. Now the dry time though is actually pretty good. As you can see here, I'm giving it one, five, and 10 seconds, and the ink is completely dry 
here at the 10 second mark. By the way, for a first time user, if I had an ink that performed like that, then I would be left with a really good first impression, but you know what we're really going to be doing here. So let me go ahead, finish filling out the paper, and we'll do a water test to see how this included ink holds up to water. Honestly, with it acting more like a ballpoint or gel ink, I think it's going to do really good. But let's go ahead and see what happens after a four and a half minute soak, truncated down to like 15 to 30 seconds for you guys though. Okay, so this is actually a really good result. Most black inks kind of let me down, which is why I only have one in my collection right now, and that's because I still have to review it. This one, it's a nice deep black, and the water resistance here is actually really good. Once again, for a first time user, I'd be impressed with this. But bringing it around the final thoughts, this is where I have a little bit of an inner conflict. I will admit there are times where I feel like I'm a fountain pen elitist. True. I don't go out and buy every Sailor or every Franklin Kristoff or, you know, stuff like that. But there are times where I look down on these cheaper pens and I probably shouldn't. This is a $10 pen that actually performs better than Bach nibs that I've gotten on pens that are 13 times more expensive. And that's saying something. I mean, a lot of people on Amazon, if they just type in the word fountain pen, because this is Amazon Basics, it's going to show up pretty high on the search list. So a lot of first time users are going to be exposed to this first. And to be quite honest, this is a really good value. You've got three cartridges of a good performing black ink. You've got a nice subtle body, a good colorway. The packaging is on point for the price. And even with the section being a smooth chromium section, it's still not bad there was actually just enough of a stop at the end of it to make it a decent writing experience. And for a no-name Chinese nib with no stamping on it whatsoever except for F for fine, it was actually really good out of the box. And that's something I like to see. So yeah, I mean, it doesn't have the crazy colorways that you get from like Pen BBS or Wingsung or some of the others like that, but it's a good pen overall. And honestly, I was impressed with it. Good job, Amazon. I'm going to keep my Prime subscription because of it. Honestly, I was going to keep Prime anyways, but this is pretty cool. I got next day shipping, and that's also a win. That's going to do it for this video. Thank you for watching as always. If you want to support the channel, head on over to Patreon.com. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next week.